that her future life she may develop diabetes, hypertension, as well as very dangerous condition like endometrial cancer may happen because of the polycystic ovary. Now, to whom PCOS will happen? That is very important. Sachin Lokhande, practicing as a gynecologist and fertility specialist in Mahavir Maternity and Surgical Hospital, Navi Mumbai. Very thanks to this initiative to make aware people about PCOS. What is PCOS actually? PCOS is nothing but Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome. It is also called as PCOD, that is Polycystic Ovarian Disease. Whenever the egg grows, it has to rupture. But when the egg doesn't rupture, it will become into a cyst. So, if suppose a person is developing this tendency of having cyst in the ovary, it is called as polycystic ovary. But how it affects our body, that is very important. So, whenever the cyst, that is egg, is not rupturing, so it will become into the cyst and that cyst will not rupture, so the lady will not get the periods. And so, whenever she will not get the periods, her periods will become irregular. And this will keep on happening so she will not have a periods for more than two months or three months. Along with that, she will keep on having irregular periods, acne, that is development of the uh, follicles on the hair, uh, face, as well as hoarseness of the voice. She will become obese, that is obesity will also happen. And obviously in the later future life, she may develop diabetes, hypertension, as well as very dangerous condition like endometrial cancer may happen because of the polycystic ovary. Now, to whom PCOS will happen? That is very important. I am seeing every day young girls of around about 15 to 20 years of age just because of not having regular exercises, they are developing hormonal imbalance and this hormonal imbalance is going to lead to the polycystic ovary. They are having very very less physical activity and this is the reason why the PCOS is happening. Now, how to di diagnose this PCOS? This is a very important sign. If you want to diagnose the PCOS, the first and foremost thing, if somebody is obese, having irregular, uh, irregular cycles, as well as on sonography, if we found there are multiple follicles or multiple cysts into the ovary and ovaries are becoming very bulky. So these are the criteria for diagnosis of polycystic ovarian syndrome. Now how it can be cured? PCO cannot be corrected, but it can be kept under control just by very very simple measures first thing is by doing very regular vigorous exercises if somebody just reduces the weight of 10 percent of the actual body weight then the hormonal along with this we have to control the pcos by some medicines which will control the insulin resistance and obviously the pcos will get corrected so friends, PCOS is not the disease, I keep on telling everybody, it is the condition which is made by the person itself. So PCOS is a sedentary lifestyle disease, it has to be corrected by just changing into the lifestyle conditions as well as doing regular exercises and taking some help of the medicines. Especially if somebody is not getting conceived, PCOS has to be corrected as early as possible because once the PCOS will be corrected, the pregnancy will happen automatically. Thank you.